Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our AV8B today and we're looking at selective jettison. So let's have a look what we've got on board today. So on the left wing we've got a sidewinder, then a bunch of GBUs on the next pylon, then some snake eyes on the next pylon. In the middle we've got a gun and our DECM pod and mirrored on the other side we've got some snake eyes then some GPUs, and then a side arm, not a side winder, okay? So the only air-to-air -air weapon is this aim line on the left side. Let's jump in the cockpit. So first of all, we've got the Admiral's doorbell or emergency jettison. This one's here. If you press that, everything is going to jettison apart from your air-to-air -air weapon. So everything will jettison apart from the sidewinder, assuming that sidewinder is on one of the outer pylons. It only jettisons stuff on the wings, you can't jettison stuff that's on the fuselage as far as, as, far as I'm aware, so you can't get rid of the uh, DCM or targeting pod or the gun. Oh, and it's called the Admiral's Doorbell because if you push it, you have to go and see the Fleet Admiral to explain why you've just wasted $7 million worth of equipment. Uh, so that's that, so if you're in absolute trouble, you get jumped by a MIG or something, you haven't got time to sort through the normal procedure, bang that and go and shoot him down. So that's that. So if I press that, everything would drop apart from the fuselage and the AIM-9. Next, proper selective jettison. Uh, rotary knob on the outside, which you can move with left click or right click, and then the actual button you can press in the middle. So we'll start with... Co uh, safe is obviously safe, where we can't do anything. Next, combat. Right click mouse button. It shows here what's selected to be jettisoned. Combat will drop... will select everything that's used for combat, that's on the wings, that's not an air-to-air weapon, and uh, that and assuming that air to weapon air to air weapon is not on the outer pylons, so it selected all of the bombs and the sidearm on the right side of the wing, but it's not selected the at the end of the wing aim line there. If we click jettison there, it would drop everything that's selected and their mounting gear as well. So you know the pylons, the mounts as well. So it gets you completely clean, ready for air to wear. So that's actually the same as the admiral's doorbell, I believe. So that's that. Next, there's fuel. And we haven't got any fuel tanks, so we've got nothing to see here. But it would allow us to select and drop in pairs our fuel tanks. I think from memory you can have tanks on two, three, five, and six. So you could drop two and six, and then three and five together. So that's that. Next is stores. Left click. Boom, boom, boom. This allows us to individually select stores. Uh, so let me just select uh, the snake eyes. It selects them in pairs, so you select the left and the right at the same time. And if you were to press Jetson here, it would drop the store only, the, the bombs, the weapon, but it would retain the mounting equipment, the, the pylons, whatever you call them, yeah? Or we could select the GBUs, we could select the sidearm. Remember, the sidearm is not an air-to-air -air weapon, so that will be jettisonable. But we cannot select the sidewinder on the end mount because we just can't get rid of them. The only way you can get rid of them, I think, is firing them off. Um, next is, and again, push the jettison button to actually make it happen. The next is station, similar to stores, but it allows you to choose any station you want. And when you jettison it, you will jettison the weapon and the pylon equipment. So if I want to just do the left GBUs, because I might want to do that, then I would just click jettison and just that would come off. And it allows me to select any of the equipped stations except, oh, I can select the middle with this. I didn't realise I can select the middle with uh, station jettison. Okay, so that's good. So we'll see what that actually jettisons in a second. All of that stuff I can choose. Again, the sidewinder I can't get. I can't do that. I would have to fire that off to get rid of that. And doing this would get rid of the mounting equipment as well as the store itself. Okay, so that's all I've got re to really say on it. So why don't we go ahead and drop these stations we've got selected with their associated mounts. We don't need master arm on. We can just do it like this. So we're going to click jettison. That's all that equipment gone. Now the one thing I noticed is that the DCM pod didn't jettison. Uh, I'm not sure if that's jettisoned at, uh, a ball at all, but apparently not at the moment. Uh, you can see that after pressing the jettison button, it's put itself back to safe as standard. So the only other thing to do is to get rid of the sidewinder. We're going to press uh, 1 to select sidewinder. Fire it with our usual fire button. Master arm on would help. So we're going to fire it dead there without uh, any seeking. And that is how to get rid of the sidewinders. Right, uh, that's all I can think of. I hope that helps and I'll see you later.